For the no hook, no foot movement snatch, what you do is you do, uh, you grab the bar with no hook grip. So normally hook grip, you kind of wrap that thumb around. And also with no foot movement, you want to start the position with the feet wider in your catch position. So your normal catch position might be there. That's actually where you're going to start the pull. So you notice George is a little bit wider in that start position. And he does the lift. You'll notice that the heels come up a little bit. But for the most part, the feet stay flat and planted. He's staying connected to the ground. So the, uh, <clears throat> the other thing with the no hook, no foot snatch is that by staying connected to the ground, you have a lot more feel through the movement. And when you're going under, you almost want to think of the movement as uh, using your hips to pull yourself down. So something, uh, a visualization that we like to use in here is, imagine you've got some of those uh, inversion boots and you're hanging upside down on a power rack and then you try to like pull yourself upside down. So if this was, you know, Spider-Man standing on the ceiling, you're pulling yourself this way. Think of that as you're going under. Think of those muscles that would be activated if you were upside down pulling yourself down. To use those to pull yourself down and not just your arms. So you're using the whole body. You're leading with the hips and you're gaining more awareness and control of the legs and stuff to help pull you under the bar. So let's do one more. Good. A few other things about this exercise uh, that make it really good is that when you start getting heavy, that weight feels heavy in your hands. Even though it's going to be relatively light, uh, it'll feel heavy and you know that you have the confidence to make it and you'll get under it and you'll make it. And then you'll start training your brain to start making lifts even if they feel heavy. Uh, and that's a big confidence booster. So then when you go back to the hook grip and you're going after this PR lift and it feels heavy, you have the reps and the confidence to know that you can make a rep even if it feels heavy. And that's one of the big things about the no hook, no foot snatches. It feels heavy in your hands, but you'll probably still make it even when it feels heavy. So kind of trust the technique, trust the position, and uh, you'll get a lot of benefit out of it. Uh, another, uh, another good reason to use this exercise is if you're one of the people and you pull and you spend a lot of time here, and then you go under and you're barely getting under the bar. This exercise really helps you get the timing of finishing the pull and getting right under it. Uh, if that is already your problem where you kind of like jump under the bar early, you might not want to include these as much in your training.